Okay, so let me show you here. This is the trailer. This is your slider right here. And that slider right there. This is the opening for the slider. This is where my office is. Here's our bump out. Um, this is where our uh, kitchen, new kitchen area and stuff is going to go with our new stove that we already have in storage. And um, this area is going to be opened up a little bit and then this is uh, the bedroom and stuff. So um, the new building, instead of taking the building, taking the bump out out and adding it to the back of the trailer, we decided to put the building up front, put the trailer behind and then have a uh, an opening or a walkway between the new new building and the trailer. So here's going to be our front deck. This is going to be, um, I believe it's 16 by 8, I believe. And this is going to be uh, uh, 4 by 14 8 over by here. Eight. 14. 14 by 8. So 14 by 8 this way. Uh, 4 by 8 over here. And then you've got <clears throat> your living area here. That's where our stove is going to be our wood stove, our sofa, theater screen. Uh, there's going to be a doorway going out over here. Um, this is going to be our uh, French doors. And then you're going to walk here to this little hallway. Our eight foot tall French doors. Yeah, huge eight foot tall French doors. And then you're going to walk back here and then you're going to come into a bedroom. There's going to be two closets over here. You're going to have a window. So you're going to have window, window, Lots of south-facing windows. There's going to be a window here by the, uh, by the tub itself. And uh, you're going to have the shower and no, a washer. We'll put the washer back here. Um, looks like we're going to have the a cabinet. Uh, we've already got the vanity. We've already got the cabinet. Um, and probably toilet or something over there. So um, this is what the new plan is going to look like. And so now what we have to do is go ahead and get the pad and stuff set up to do this. So let's go check that out. Okay, so we're gonna leave. Looks like we're gonna be leaving the uh, trailer here temporarily while we're building the new pad, the new site right here. So here's my leveling work to make it more level than it was uh, yesterday. Had to dig in more on this side. Had to dig in a little bit more that way coming this way and dig more in over here. So this is, this is your low end and that's your higher end, as you can see from the trailer over there. Um, so anyway, this, we're gonna get uh, start putting the, we're gonna measure this out today and start with the, um, where our uh, footer footings are gonna be and get that rolling. So once uh, we can get this thing built, we'll extend power and everything, water from over there, this direction, into this building. This will be disconnected and then we'll um, back this up on the on the back side of here, and it'll actually extend from about somewhere about here all the way to a little bit close to the driveway over there. That way we can still drive in. Um, but what we're probably going to do is, since the entryway is going to be on this side, is uh, we'll come up by the tel I mean the electric pole there, drive up this way and park somewhere over here. And then all the chicken uh, coops and things like that, uh, we're gonna move them down over here. So, um, what we got going on down here? Ah, goosey gooseys! <laughs> so, anyway. That's what we're going to work on today. Okay guys, I'm going to put the uh, tam lapse recorder on here so that you can see us uh, setting up the square for the new location of the building that we got the pad side uh, pretty much prepared. So anyway, that is it for now. Enjoy.
Okay, so we got the string line attached here. This is our friend Ed. Say hello, Ed, if you want to. Hello. <laughs> We got the string line attached here to the outside corner corner of the coat posts, all the way down there to that corner over there. And then we've got it going all the way to. We got our corners in. Now since our build style has changed, looks like uh, we're gonna have to buy some more materials. So we're gonna have our two by 12s come in here. We're gonna have uh, three rows of them. Two sets of two by twelves. Uh, I guess what do you call them? Not toe nailed, but they're going to be uh, nailed in together and overlapping. So we'll have um, we're going to have thirty feet this direction, thirty feet here in the center, and then thirty feet down over here. And then our joists are going to go over uh, the long ways here. That way, fourteen feet. So I got to go get some more materials, and then we just got are some more concrete and uh, CMUs or bricks here. Uh, cinder blocks we're going to use for the base so we're getting closer to getting the build done. So um, anyway just another piece along the way of getting the foundation. Uh, today is uh, January the 20... was it 23rd or 24th today Ed? 24th. 24th. So um, I've got uh, Ed here, our neighbor, he's down helping us to get our corner posts and everything uh, set up for our pads and uh, make sure everything is lined up properly. And uh, so we've got that going on today. And then uh, once Ed is done with that, with the strings and stuff up, I'll be using the backhoe to um, dig, uh, dig down to our pads, put our first uh, concrete pour in, get the corners and stuff uh, all leveled between the corners. And then we should be pretty good to go to put the cinder blocks on and get the beams going. So, so I'd catch up with you today, show you what we're doing, and there you go. And 36. My way just a little bit. This way? Yeah. Okay. So is the post supposed to be on the outside or inside? I'm putting it on the inside. Inside, okay. So you know, the string goes around. Yeah. From your cut. Now again, because of all the rocks in here, mm -hmm. it's hard to get it completely square. Yeah. Of, so what we're using this for is setting your 
Strength. location for the pads. Okay. And then when you do your floor, then you'll get your actual, because you won't need the batter boards for your floor. Right, you'll, you'll put the beams on, yeah. square the beams. And then you'll just work your, do your floor, floor from that point on. Okay. Okay, so we got some work done yesterday, first thing in the morning here. Uh, it's about 30 degrees. I am just going to show you what we got accomplished yesterday. Um, so here you go. We got all of our pad and uh, brick layouts squared away here. We just decided to do five foot four on centers. And this is what it's gonna look. Actually, the, I just used the bricks in there just so that we can, I can figure out where the rebar and stuff went. Uh, then we can also have uh, two more sets of bricks this way. So pads gonna go underneath. Um, then the uh, two sets of bricks are gonna go up there. So we're gonna have two, two sets of bricks, bricks there. Here's the other one. There's the other one. There you go. Okay, and uh, put a um, I put a center block here. Put a center block there. Took that beam, put it across the two. Okay, and then uh, put a level on the middle and, and measured it, and we were almost perfectly level. It was a pretty amazing between here. And here it was almost perfectly level. So just need to put some screening and stuff into each of these. I just have to cut up some of this extra uh, scrap material we got on our last load from the hull from um, um, Ron and Mindy's place. And uh, we'll just add a little bit more into that, mix up the concrete and get these pads poured. Then what I need to do is uh, get this pad and that pad leveled on a string line. So I've got to go get a string line level uh, when I go in town today. But um, we did do the outside um, actual uh, perimeter of the building. So this is the, the outside uh, back right corner. Did do one right down the center. Right down the center so we can figure out where our center um, pads are going to be. And here's the end, of course, and then this is the outside piece for the general, uh, the general settings you measure off of to get the center. Pretty cool, huh? So that's what we did there. And use a handy dandy backhoe just to, you know, get that stuff going. But today I got 14 more. We got um, 14 more holes to dig out and 14 more pads to do after this once this gets set. So pretty excited about that. Um, then once I get the pads set, uh, <clears throat> my friend um, Ed, my friend Ed is going to come back over, and we're going to go ahead and uh, get the beams going. So what we're going to do is between the first spot here and the next spot, there's going to be uh, we have eight foot beams. Um, and then 16 foot beam. So we're going to use an 8 foot beam on the side, 16 foot beam in the center, um, times three rows. Let me do that again here. So from here uh, to somewhere, let's see, one, one, two, yeah, from, from this spot here through that to there, that 8 foot beam is going to actually fall into this. Then we're going to, so one, one bolt beam will be on this side. And then the um, 16 foot beam is going to be on the opposite side. Going in there, we're going to have a couple of lag bolts and stuff going through to uh, screw the, um, the beams to each other. And then we're going to have a 16 foot from here to here, and then, or from there to there, and then an 8 foot for that last bridge. So, uh, 8 foot, 16 foot, 8 foot, and that's going to do it. So, we do three of those lag bolt them together and then we're ready to start putting the joist in this way pretty awesome talk to you guys later happy homesteading 
here's our morning.